Good morning, everyone. Hi, I'd like to just um, welcome everyone here today. Uh, my name is Margaret Mulrooney. I'm the curator here at the Colchester Historium. I just started working here in November. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so happy that everyone's here and we're happy to host this very important and informative conference. Um, this is our newly renovated space. This is the first conference we've ever had in here, so we're very excited about that as well. This exhibit was just installed uh, between September and November of this year, so on our lunch break, I'd encourage everyone to take a look around and take it in. Um, I would like to acknowledge uh, the Government of Canada's support for our reorg here at the Colchester Historium through their Museum's Assistance Program. Uh, I would also like to welcome Estelle Lalonde, who is the representative um, for that organization, to our event today. <laughs> um, and yes, yeah, so on that note, I would like to bring up uh, Simon to, from CCI to the podium to welcome you all to this event. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Okay. Um, so, my name is Simon Lambert. I'm a Preservation Development Advisor at uh, the Canadian Conservation Institute. Uh, and uh, we have a great program for you today. So, a lot of uh, talk about storage and storage reorganization, creative ideas, practical solutions. Uh, we just finished last night uh, at 5 o'clock the reorganization of the storage area uh, on the third floor. Uh, with the Reorg Atlantic team. So uh, six museums, 10 participants, three days, uh, a lot of objects, um, and a lot of hard work. And so uh, at lunchtime, I think around uh, 12.30, uh, so kind of halfway in the lunch break, uh, there'll be, you'll be able to go upstairs at, on the third floor and tour the reorganized storage area. And right after lunch, you'll be able to actually see the before pictures in the presentation. So you'll see <laughs> where we started from. Um, so I want to thank uh, Margaret and the Colchester Historium for uh, allowing us to come invade their space for three days to uh, organize this training uh, workshop. And uh, we're really, really pleased to have you here today to share the results of that and to share some uh, lessons learned from other projects uh, in the region uh, and uh, across Canada and internationally as well. So um, I just want to um, start uh, by saying that, yes, and I do want to thank also the uh, Association of Nova Scotia Museums <laughs> <laughs> for being such a great partner in the Reorg Atlantic program and for uh, really uh, helping us, uh, you know, identify the museum where we were do going to be doing the workshop and just for contacting everyone and for ensuring that we had the right people participating in this program. So we're really, really pleased to you know, be in this partnership with you. Great, so um, just my uh, little introduction in the beginning, I'm just gonna uh, give you um, a little introduction on the reorg methodology because you'll see reorg, reorg, reorg uh, mentioned many times and you might be wondering exactly what that is. And what reorg is, is, is aiming to address this kind of problem, where you're faced with a storage area that, um, for various reasons, might have ended up looking like this after years of neglect or uh, just because other things take priority. And so um, it's really not about creating a new storage space, uh, a new building. So it's not storage planning, it's storage reorganization. So it's really making the most of what you have already and to try to um, create some efficiencies with you know, your existing resources. So the reorg methodology tries to split this problem into four different areas to make it easier to understand. So, um, so there's four different areas, the building in the space, uh, the management issues, furniture and small equipment, and the collection. So it's not just about creating order, it's not about tidying up, <laughs> the part of it is that, but there's also some uh, root causes that might have led to why the storage area is in the state that it's in. So it, it aims to, it's, it's really a, a global approach to storage uh, reorganization. And where this all started was uh, UNESCO and uh, ECROM, which is the International Center for the Study of the Preservation and Restoration of Cultural Property in Rome, and 
like UNESCO, ECROM is an, inter an international organization, intergovernmental organization, so um, it's not individual members, it's uh, member states. And so Canada is a member since 1978 of ECROM. And they put together uh, a storage task force in 2006, made up of people from all over the world um, who had been involved in storage reorganization projects on different scales. Uh, and um, the idea was to brainstorm and to try to identify when you start from a disorganized storage area, what are the different steps that you have to go through in order to reorganize it? So um, really focusing on the step-by-step -step approach. And that led to the creation of a methodology that was uh, organized into four phases. So these are the four basic phases that any reorg project uh, will go through. So the first phase, called getting started, so the idea of this phase is really to create the best possible conditions uh, to begin your reorganization. So team building, um, identifying who has uh, the required skills, who has special skill sets that might not enter into your day-to-day -day, uh, museum work, but maybe someone knows is really good at building shelves <laughs> on their spare time. We had that experience in this reorg. <laughs> re um, and uh, so it, it's really kind of uh, taking inventory of all those, those special skills that might come useful in your project. Um, there's also a self-evaluation tool um, that is uh, part of this phase. And it's um, a really quick and easy 43 question questionnaire uh, that, looked at, that looks as, at those four aspects. So management, building and space, collection, furniture, and small equipment. And it allows you to rate your storage uh, in those four areas according to, you know, is the situation high risk or is uh, the sit you, you need a reorganization or if only small improvements are needed or if everything seems fine and, you know, really minor things are to be addressed. So that's kind of one of the first things that all of the participants who are in the Reorg Atlantic program did when they applied is to just go through this questionnaire and see where they, you know, how they, they, uh, they situated themselves. Um, then the second phase um, is the condition report. So that's where you're really trying to document the, the, current stage, uh, the current state of the storage area and trying to identify some of these uh, key deficiencies and maybe underlying root causes for the storage disorganization. And it's looking at, so it's looking at those four areas that I mentioned. And um, it's quite a, an extensive um, um, piece of work. Um, and so, uh, you know, you're looking at things like space efficiency, how is space being used in my units, how is the floor space uh, being used in my storage area, am I using the vertical space in the, uh, in the most efficient ways possible. So there's, there's a little, a few calculations to do. Um, and the third phase is then the action plan. So once you've had, you've identified your issues um, and uh, you, you try to find solutions to address those issues and to correct those problems. And so the idea of phase three is to define those tasks that then make it, that then enable you to correct those problems. Oops, that's not what I want to do. What happens when you hit the end button? <laughs> it ends. Okay, so phase four is the implementation. So the phase four implementation, that is what we did here uh, in the past three days. Um, and so it's about implementing the action plan, but I just have to say that, um, you know, the more reorgs that we're involved in, the more we see that it's often necessary to do that tidying up before you can address some of the most daunting issues like the collections inventory or um, dealing with accessions uh, backlogs and things like that. So the real, the first step in the implementation is really to deal with that um, regaining access to your collection and visibility of your objects. So that's really the aim of the, of the implementation, um, the physical reorganization of the storage. Then there might be things that um, that end up taking a bit longer than that initial tidying up, if you will. So um, in this case here, for example, um, you know, we, we reorganized the space 
and the collections are now accessible and visible, and all the conditions are in place so that a full inventory can now be done. So there still is a lot of work that needs to be done afterwards. So this is kind of, um, you know, it's, it's important to highlight that because uh, it, you can't d solve everything in three days. <laughs> and so, and we had a team of, of uh, 16 people working uh, for three days. So that's a lot of man hours, uh, person hours. And so, um, you know, if you have a team of three, then that will take longer than three days. We just, for the benefit of, uh, just for the, this workshop, we had to compress it, so. Um, Reorg Canada program is uh, a CCI-led initiative. Uh, it is, the aim is to create a team, a network of institutions across the country that uh, are able to reorganize their storage, but also to advise other museums on how to go about organizing their storage. So it's about building capacity across the country in this area. And uh, the first program that we organized was last year. It was a pilot program. It was in, Ont in Ontario. And uh, we had five participating institutions, uh, from Timmins down to uh, Simcoe, so really um, all across uh, Ontario. And uh, they went through the same process that we're going through this year in the Atlantic. So they worked on their project uh, at their own museum for uh, a year-long period. And in the middle of the course, we all met together and reorganized the storage, just like we did this week. Um, so this year, um, the reorg program, as you know, is in the Atlantic region. And so we have uh, six museums participating, and we'll be hearing uh, from them today. Uh, they'll be sharing the results of their condition report. So they are in the mo at the moment, they have just completed their con condition report, and they are preparing to embark on the action plan and the implementation. Uh, and so uh, you'll be hearing it from them today. But this is not only a Canada initiative. There, Reorg is an international initiative. So there are Reorg projects going on all over the world at this moment. Uh, so <laughs> this is not all that's going on right now, but these are the past ones and the current ones together. Um, and you will be hearing today about um, a workshop that happened in China. And uh, we'll also be um, having one of our colleagues from Belgium, uh, who uh, is the lead on the Reorg Belgium program. And so she'll be giving a presentation on their experience there in reorganizing the storage in Belgium. Now, what tools are these people using in order to make their assessments and to uh, come up with their recommendations and to develop their action plans? Well, we're, we have just uh, finalized uh, this version of the uh, Reorg Museum's workbook, which is a, um, a kind of a practical handbook uh, that um, you can take inside your storage area and take down your information, and uh, it has a bunch of additional resources if you want to go further into the process, if you want to kind of investigate some issues a bit more um, extensively. And I'll be sending here uh, a copy of the museum workbook that's not available yet, but you get an advanced copy of it. <laughs> Great. So, um, so that's my uh, introduction.